Namo Nama everyone. So now today we'll be continuing further with the story Rip Van Winkle. On waking up, he found that he was at the place where he had first met the old man. He rubbed his eyes. It was a bright sunny morning. Surely I have not slept here all night, thought Rip. So after Rip drank few glasses of the contents of the barrel, he fell into a deep sleep. When Rip woke up, he saw that he was in the same place where he first met the strange old man. So after waking up, he thought that surely I must have not slept here the whole night, right? He looked around for Wolf, but he was nowhere. Rip whistled for him. Wolf! Wolf! He then shouted. No dog was to be seen. Where has this dog gone? He muttered to himself. He began to descend the mountain to go back to his village. Now, when he woke up, he looked around for his pet dog, Wolf, his companion. He even whistled and called out his name. But there was no dog around. So, after calling him, he started going down the mountain so that he could go back to his village again. As he neared the village, he met a number of people, but he didn't know any of them. The villagers also stared at him equally surprised. Who is this man? said one. I have never seen him before, said another. Look at his long white beard and his wrinkled face. So as he started approaching near his village, he met a lot of people on his way. Now he did not recognize any of them. Even the villagers were staring at him, surprised that who is he? Nobody was recognizing him. One of them said that who is this man? He had never seen him before. Other one said that look at his white beard and his wrinkled face. So the villagers were not recognizing him. On hearing this, Rip stroked his chin and to his astonishment he found his beard had grown a foot long and it was all white. After he heard some of the villagers talking about his beard, he stroked his chin, right? He started stroking his chin and was surprised when he noticed his long white beard which had grown a foot long and it was all white. An old woman walked up to him and looked at his face for a moment. Then she exclaimed, It is Rip Van Winkle. Welcome home again, old neighbor. Where have you been this twenty long years? So, an old woman walked up to him and stared at him for a few minutes. And in exciting voice, she said that it was Rip Van Winkle. She welcomed him again and asked him that where he was for 20 years. So when Rip and Winkle woke up from his slumber, it was after 20 long years. Hence the reason everything had changed. So it was a very strange thing that Rip has ever experienced in his life right? He had wasted most of his life in a deep sleep. So now in the next video, we'll be summarizing the story Rip Van Winkle. So stay tuned. Thank you so much.